if you have to create a lot of user mailboxes or a lot of subscriber mailboxes at one time, probably the fastest way to do this would be to do a mailbox import. And you can do a mailbox import with the Call Express system running. The easiest way to create a file for a mailbox import is to create an export. So in order to do that, I'm going to go mailbox export. I'm going to pick a file location here and I'm going to call it a CSV file. And I'm going to pick just a specific mailbox. I really only need one of these to export because um, really what I want to get is just the header information. Now you can go into our documentation or the online help and pick these fields that you see below but it's much easier just to pick the ones you want from this utility and then have it create the spreadsheet for you. So I'm going to pick the class of service mailbox assignment and a class of service mailbox is going to be used in, in an import like this as a template um, for all the mailboxes I want to build. It saves me from having to custom or to create all these fields in here in my spreadsheet and then populate them as well. I can set up a mailbox uh, class of service and then build all my mailboxes alike that way. I'm going to put in an extension device because what I'm going to use here is a phone list to uh, or an internal extension list to create my import. So I need to have a device of some type and, and an extension device is what I'm going to start off with here. Display name. First name. Last name. and mailbox which stands for mailbox number so let me press export and then we'll export this file let's go to my documents and take a peek at what this file looks like so you can see what I've created here is a spreadsheet file and my headers are across the top um, and I have a bunch of different devices uh, and I can populate those uh, per user if I want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save this as an import, save as my import keeping the current format and let me open up my extension list so you see here I have a an extension list and what I've done is a little bit of preparation in, in advance um, for this import exercise. I've broken out the name as first name, last name and then a display name and the display name is kind of important. Um, Call Express will use the first name and last name if you're using speech to to find the user using a speech directory. However, if you don't have a display name um, in your administration utility you're not going to see any of the names displayed. That's what the display name does. So in order to to build this file really all I have to do is copy. So I'm going to highlight all these extension numbers here and I'm going to copy them and then paste. And I'm also going to do this under the mailbox numbers. I'm going to have my mailbox numbers match my extension numbers. Then all I have to do is put in the names.
now that I've pasted in all my unique data I have to go back and I need to fill in all these fields that you see here I need to fill in all these fields that you see here so that I have a complete file so I'm gonna start off with the class of service I'm going to use mailbox 060 as my class of service assignment so all I have to do here is copy that field and then highlight this entire column and paste that in and I do that with all the other fields here that have been filled in on the first line. I'm going to copy them and then paste. Okay, and I should have a complete file at this point, so let me save this file and then exit and I can do my import. And I do that by going mailbox import picking my file and then selecting an output file. I'm going to put my output file in my documents and the reason I'm going to do that is if I have an error with this import um, this log file will be in a place where I can get it pretty easily and I can see what went wrong. So I'm going to press initialize and you can see the different fields and of course the data. And I'm, my action here and my import is going to be to add This is what you want to see when you finish your import, that you had no errors. I'll press OK. And we should go down and see all our new subscribers.